Hi, I'm Nat. I am the founder of Hookrip, and I'm here with Harrison Morris, uh, Tokyo Olympian, Tokyo 2020-2021 Olympian. We're here at the USA Weightlifting training base in Hawaii, which is kind of like a staging base before the athletes go to Tokyo to compete, and it's kind of here because uh, access is so restricted in Tokyo and everything. We're here today to watch, essentially, or look at all of the pictures and videos, pictures mainly from the meets where we didn't shoot video, of Harrison going back a long time, going back to the 2013 American Open, which was your first national meet, yep. um, all the way through to the 2021 USAW Nationals, which was really just a few weeks ago. So that spans 22 meets. We're not going to look at every single one because it's uh, you know a, li a little bit too much. We'll look at most of them. Um, and. I should also mention that there's a bunch of meets in here that you, you used to not go to that many meets that we covered. You used to go to things like Youth Nationals and you went to Youth Worlds before we started covering Youth Worlds, so like we're missing 2015 Youth Worlds, which was a big meet for you. Um, but obviously we have 22 meets, which is more than I think anyone else would have. Um, and I should also mention the, the first meet that we actually took video at was the 2014 Arnold, which wasn't a meet that you went to. but just as like a timeline thing, um, we we basically uh, didn't really start taking videos until um, March 2014. And so before that, it was just photos. And the other thing I should point out, and you will see this in this, <laughs> is that I've gotten better at photos and videos <laughs> over the years. <laughs> so some of this early stuff is like really embarrassing, like just not in focus, terribly framed. Bad. I mean, you've gotten better at weightlifting. I've gotten better at photos and videos. So we've grown. Yeah, we've we've both kind <laughs> of, we've both, both kind of grown. So you know, just excuse the terrible nature of some of this. Um, so obviously, there's this spreadsheet I mm. made with kind of all of your results, your PRs, um, your you know American records, world records, stuff like that. World records with an S, two world records, um, and. Yeah, so let's just get started. We'll start with the photos. So for the videos, we start at your third meet. So the first two are just photos, and I don't have that many because there were two, you know, platforms going on. I was kind of swiveling back and forth, and at the time, I didn't quite realize, hey, I'm dealing with a future uh, Olympian. Mm. You know what I mean? At the time, <laughs> I, it was like, uh, oh, here's this, you know, kid lifting, dropping bars on his head. So... <laughs> This is the first ever photo that we have oh, of wow. Harrison, which, as you can see, is out of focus. Holy I mean, the back cow. of the bar is in focus. The front's not in focus. <laughs> um, and this was in Dallas in the Ice Storm AO. Did you get delayed coming back from this, by the way? I don't even remember. You I try to block this meet out as much as possible. Okay. So, anyway, so this was actually an American record snatch. Yeah. It was yeah. a good way to start the competition. You started the competition really well. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, so as you can see, I got bad pictures of the whole thing. <laughs> um, you know, terribly framed. I didn't have the right lens. I couldn't zoom out enough, as you can see. Like, uh, you know, oh, the yeah. bar is missing. Chop my arms off. Well, you know, I mean, this was, this was early days of hook grip um, and everything like that. Uh -huh. And so, you know, anyway. So then we go on to uh, 89. I'll just skip through these because this was not this was not your you know banner meat. Um, but just and you can oh see boy. you can see how bad this was like I was I was trying to shoot a floor meet I was told before this meet by the way that it would it would be raised platform and I don't know if you know <laughs> but the day before they were setting up raised platforms in this space were they and, really and then they took them off because they realized the raised platforms weren't going to work and so I wasn't prepared to sit on the floor so I was like trying to like kneel on my knees and you know after enough hours on your knees it really starts to hurt so yeah. anyway that um, whole meet was just a cluster. It was ba bad for you, bad for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I and bad for people trying to get out due to the ice storm. Well, we lost power at our hotel for a while. We were staying at La Quinta. Yeah. Lost power, shut down all the businesses around us. Yeah, it was yeah. It was bad. I remember I remember feeling really lucky when I got home. I was just like, <laughs> all right, I'm home, thank God. All right, so terrible, um, terrible <laughs> angle, terrible photo. As I was twisting the camera because I was trying to make you fit into the frame. terrible jerk technique too. Yeah, right? you you're, didn't yeah. have great jerk technique. You'll I mean, see that pretty quickly here. You know, then uh, a little <laughs> little drop on the head. Yeah. But you know what's crazy is that I mean, and the know, guys in the background. Yeah, oh my god. This this, uh, this cringe <laughs> in the background. It's hilarious. I like this guy. It's like classic. What are you even all, doing? All, all four of them. Are just like, <laughs> that's probably the best part of these photos, oh where it's boy. like normal to. Ah, oh yeah. You know. Okay, so that was the end of what we have of you oh, from I'm glad. from 2013 AO. That was a rough start. It was a rough start. But and I mean, I still got recruited to go to the OTC from that meet. 
but you set an American record. I did. You know, you were obviously a strong kid, and the 15, I think, might have been an attempt at a record. Yeah. Or, yeah, so, you know, anyway, so this was, um, <laughs> you were already looking, you know, basically more grown up in like two months later, mm. which I don't understand how that's possible, but, you know, then this was in Denver in February 2014, so this was actually the last meet we shot with no video. Yeah. Um, so I'll just kind of scroll through these fairly quick. As, we, as I said, we have a lot of meets to get through. You've got other stuff to do. We can't um, can't spend you know two hours on this. So yeah. getting into the clean and jerks, got 15 on the bar or 20. Sorry, at least went a little better this 25. time. 25. No, I mean you went six for six. And <laughs> I mean actually 31 is a real big lift for a, a 13. You were still 13 now. I believe so. You were about to turn 14. Yeah. Um, I mean, for a 13-year-old, 69 doing 31 is like, I mean, at the time I remember thinking, like, wow, that's a strong kid. But mm. I, don't, I don't know if I quite realized the gravity of like, hey, this kid, like, in in two years is going to be doing like 75, 80. You yeah. Know? I mean, we were still just figuring out what we were, what we were doing. Yeah. I mean, we didn't really know what it was going to take us at that point. Yeah. It was a... Uh, it was interesting. So for Hassle Free, so mm -hmm. this was a meet in California that Kevin ran. Yeah. Um, it wasn't a national meet, but I went to it anyway because there were some, you know, people I in the meet that were good. Like Jenny Arthur was there, mm -hmm. Manny Rogers was there, a few other really good lifters were there. Obviously, you were there. Um, so I put in the pictures and the videos because the thing about the videos here, this was, uh, this was before we took real time videos so this is actually okay. a, this is a slow-mo video okay but what I did um, was I sped it up for here okay okay so you might notice on this it says four second bursts so the way uh -huh. this the way this old slow motion camera used to work is it could only take four seconds of real time okay Kay. so I was like trying to only get a snatch a clean or a jerk wow okay so I wasn't recording like full clean and jerks at this time and I was doing it mainly because, I, don't know, I mean, I have, I have a lot of reasons for why I did it. But so you're, when you watch these real time, they're going to look kind of jumpy mm -hmm. uh, just because of how the video works. Um, and because there's no sound, it's, it comes out even weirder. Okay. But you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. So this is Ooh. a little 100. There's that 106. Yeah. I think that was a record. Um, then, uh, like I said, it's just cleans. Uh-huh. I was just recording your cleans for some reason, not your jerks. They're and starting to get a little bit better. You can yeah, you've, you've you got some... You see a technical development. Yeah, no, this, this, was, this was definitely, like, where I was, like, starting to, like, know who you were. Sure. You know, at 2013 AO, I, you know, if someone had said, do you remember that kid who, like, dropped the bar on his head? I probably <laughs> wouldn't have even remembered that. That didn't leave a lasting memory? Okay, so that was hassle-free. Um, we do have good pictures from hassle-free. Um, you can see that the pictures look good. Um, I was getting, starting to get better at pictures. Yeah, in focus. Um, I was starting, yeah, I had actually, I actually changed my photo technique in mid-2013. Okay. Um, um, and what happened was it took, basically took me time to develop it. Mm -hmm. So I was getting better at it now. Um, you know what lift actually changed it for me? Mm. Was the 2013 Europeans, which you might not know about, mm. but Apti did a 215 clean and jerk. And about half the pictures I took were out of focus, and oh. I was like, "All right, I gotta change what I'm doing because <laughs> like I'm, people are hitting 215 clean jerks, and I'm I'm not getting them all in focus." Yeah. So I changed what I was doing, and it's been better. But this was where I was starting to get to the point where I felt comfortable with the camera. I should sure. also mention when I started Hooker Up, I didn't own a camera. You were renting a camera. No, I borrowed a camera from my dad to go to 2011 Paris. It wasn't because I couldn't afford a camera. Uh -huh. It was just I was just wasn't sure if I wanted to buy one. Sure. Um, I just, you know, borrowed one from my dad for that. So that, yeah, anyway, it was like I, I was sweet. not a I was not a camera person before <laughs> before hooker. Um, even now, I would questionably say I'm a camera person. But all right, so that was this is a uh, you know I'll, yeah. I'll skip through this. You got the idea. Yeah. yeah. So um, the let me sort this again by kind. All right, so skipping forward about a year. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I didn't go to most of the meets that you were going to. Um, 2015 Junior Nationals. Once again, this was, um, I believe, this this one we only shot slow-mo. 
Mm -hmm. but it should be more along the lines of full lifts. It should be, it's longer than four second bursts. I think it was eight and 16 second bursts, but you'll see it's like still no sound. Okay. So 15, 110, 115. Ooh. And so this time, obviously you were well on my radar. Okay. You know, where I was like, okay, we, you know, we have like a really good junior lifter on our hands. But I don't think I recognized, hey, we have a really good, you know, senior level lifter. Mm -hmm. Like at the time, like you and Nathan and a few others were kind of like all in like the same range. Sure. Um, and so here we have 45. And one thing that Kate pointed out is that you had this massive leap in 2015. Yeah. And we didn't capture most of it. Like we kind of captured you at the beginning and the end of it. Sure. So here we have 50. I think you missed this one. I mean, I was still pretty early in my lifting career at that point. And yeah. I was only 15, so I was going through ghost spurts as well. Yeah. Or like your knees hurting and stuff. Or maybe you made this. I, maybe you didn't. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll have to check the spreadsheet. Kay. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. It was a no lift, but uh. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. So that was your one meet that you didn't set any sort of youth record, which was crazy. I think it was yeah. because you... Um, we're in the 77s and the records were a little bit higher mm -hmm. or something like that But anyway, so there's kind of this gap here We should talk about before I go to the next one, which is you know You you went to 2015 youth world set mm -hmm. a bunch of records. I was in Peru in April So junior nationals is traditionally like February range So April was was that I mm -hmm. was at Europeans and I didn't have anyone at youth worlds mm -hmm. The videos exist because Gregor and Steve and other people were there. I just wasn't there. Yeah, and then also you went to 2015 Youth Nationals, set a bunch of records there in Minnesota. And then the next time we covered you was actually 2015 AO, which I'm guessing you've never seen these videos. Probably um, not. But 2015 AO was the first, I believe, first national meet that we shot. Or sorry, 2015 Nationals was, but this was the first national meet where you were at mm -hmm. that we shot where we have like real-time videos with sound, just like a normal what you think of okay. as a video. So this was in Reno in 2015, December 2015. This was in between oh. in between Worlds and the oh, Grand yeah. Prix okay. in um, Grozny. And this had now reached the point where we were covering a set, or I was like making sure we were covering a camera, a, a gear session with a good camera because we needed the, the video. You know what sure, I mean? Yeah. It's kind of like people go through those stages from my perspective. Uh huh. Because really, and that was like what you had done at, um, in Lima and, you know, Youth Nationals. I was like, all right, we got to get good video of this kid in Reno. Okay. Because uh, he's obviously getting really good and we don't have anything. <laughs> So that way, hey, you're doing like 65, 71. Yeah. Starting to get up there. And this was your last meet as an under 15. This was? Yeah. So this was, these stayed records. Like, no one beat these records. Well, now forever because they changed the weight classes. Exactly. But so. but even even when they changed the weight classes, you know, a few years later, the, yeah. like, no one had caught up to these under 15 records. Uh -huh. Obviously, no one's going to do, I mean, under 15, like, 77, it's like, no one's going to do 71. Are you kidding? That's like a ridiculous <laughs> number as, an, as a 15-year-old. Yeah. I mean, as a junior, okay, it's no big deal. But, like, 15-year-old, that's another story. What did I end up snatching at that one? Uh, I think it was, like, 32. 2015? 32. 32, 71. Yeah, 32. Okay. So that was obviously under 15 Youth American Record Snatch Queen or total. Then 2016 Junior Nationals, I remember that was the meet, that was the first meet where I, I met your parents. Your parents came to that. Mm. Yeah, they used to travel with me pretty Everything. regularly. Yeah. Um, and so I remember meeting your parents. That was the meet, that was local to me, the 2016 Junior National meet. That was in like the Philly area. That was the one okay. that like Dane ran. And by the way, you're going to oh, see... Oh, in Valley Forge? Is Valley that where it was? It was in Oaks, PA, which is near, oh, okay. near Valley Forge, yeah. Okay. There was another meet, 2018 AO2, which you didn't do, was actually in Valley Forge. Okay. But this was kind of close to Valley Forge. What's interesting about this is this is this is a good, like, Dane progression. Look how, yeah? Look how big Dane is in 2016 Junior Nationals. Okay. But then keep in mind what he looks like at 2016 Youth Worlds in Malaysia. Okay. He lost a lot of weight in 2016. <laughs> All right, so look at Dane. Oh, yeah. 
Oh. And by the way, this is the first meet where we shot you in 4K, so you're going to see the quality start to go up. This wasn't a great snatch day. Not a good snatch day, no. Good clean and jerk day, though. I was playing this together, I couldn't get over just how big Dane was. I know this is supposed to be about your lift, but I saw Dane <laughs> yeah. in the background. I'm just like, what in the world? No, is that? That's Phil. That's Phil as well. That's Phil, yeah. Holy cow. In a pink shirt. Yeah. So funny to see everyone from way back when. Dane was massive. Yeah. So we have 75. This was a big lift. Especially because CJ had hit 75 the year before. Sure. And obviously you're up a weight class, but like mm -hmm. just the fact that you're doing it too was like, what in the world? <laughs> like, where are these kids coming from? I don't know why I held it so long. Maybe you were waiting for the lights you wanted to make sure. Maybe. Maybe, maybe you were just, you know, showing off. <laughs> Who knows? All right, so next meet was Youth World. So once again, we skipped over. I think you probably went to Youth Nationals or something. I don't know. Um, I don't... Uh, it's hard to know. remember. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to remember. I, I could have looked it up, but I, I didn't. But anyway, so Youth Worlds was in, um, I want to say around October of 2016 in Malaysia. Sure. And so at this point, you were kind of like, you know, the the Youth World record, I feel like, was on your radar at this point in the clean and jerk. I was vying with... Jason. Jason. Lopez yeah. Lopez. That's right. Lopez Lopez. Yeah. Um, so at this point, the youth world record was was definitely on your radar, because at the time it was only I think 82. Do you remember that? Yeah. It was 82, it was and then right Jason the kept bumping it ahead up, and then <laughs> yeah. you were like, "Wait, I got to do more," <laughs> and you didn't you didn't finally get to your your youth world record until it got to 91, and then you had to do 92. Yeah. So, but you know, we'll get into that. But at this point, this was when the youth world record, I believe, was still um, In the 80s? 82. Okay. And that was kind of a low-hanging That's a big youth jump kind of in a year, huh? Yeah. 10 kilos on a world record. Yeah. Well, and then you made it 93, if you remember that. But anyway, so let's <laughs> let's go to Malaysia. So you see, look how much oh, smaller yeah. Dane is. Looking trim. Yeah. So I yeah, remember this being a cool meet. This was a good meet. Yeah. I like this place. Yeah. It was a nice country to visit, actually. Yeah. So 45. Dang. I mean, that's pretty big considering, you know, you were still uh, still 16. Yeah. And uh, like I said, Jason was still, you know, a, a good amount ahead of you. Like, you weren't really vying for the gold medal here. No. But you were, um, you were pretty clear, like, you know, like number two or whatever. I think Jason snaps, like, in the high 50s. Yeah. Or something ridiculous. There's something like, dumb. And obviously he's, you know, banned for doping. Got caught, yeah. All right, so here's 82. Maybe the record wasn't 82 then here. It might have been a, It might have been like 84. I can't remember for sure, but the record was... This wasn't that far from the record. Oh. I guess you weren't quite ready for it. So I think the next one, without me looking at it, I think it was 2016 AO, which was actually Kate's first meet. Okay. <laughs> um, Kate's first meet that we shot, sorry, yeah. I should say. And anyway, so let's go to this one. So yeah, this was in Orlando. So here you were battling with the guy from uh, Cuba. Um, the one who Steve coaches. Yadier. Oh, he came and did like one meet and then yeah. disappeared. That's right. Well, I no, he, he did a few meets, but he was basically lifting just, you know, he wasn't trying to make teams because he does, didn't have citizens there. All right, so that record actually stood for a long time, that 46. Yeah. It was a junior record or youth record? A uh, youth record. I don't think you ever set the junior snatch record because that was Oscar. Oh, yes. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, that one was tough. You tried it. You almost hit it at 2017 Worlds. Okay. But you didn't get it. Close. So here you were, you know. Prize I made that. Pump. <laughs> I mean, 82 is a, you know, pretty big look. I think you came close with this but didn't. That was 87. 87, yeah. I mean, that's a big lift for a, you know, someone from 16 year old and 77. Yeah. It's just like, what in the world? Just keep in mind that 
The oh. senior record at this so time was 90. Was it really? On, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I remember for years people had been trying 91, 91, kept missing it. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then, of course, you ended up making it. We'll see that in a minute. So 2016 AO. All right, so now we're jumping forward to like your first like senior record. You know, sure. going back to this sheet, you know, you have a lot of youth records. You know, you're, you're pretty much setting a youth record every meet for the most part. Mm -hmm. But this was your first time that you set a senior record. You set a youth world record, like, you know, all sorts of um, all sorts of records here. Once again, not a great snatch day. Yeah. But really good clean drift day. Was this the first meet that Mike and Piros were at as well? Uh, maybe, yeah. I think this was the round when Piros came on. Piros, I remember we they hired Piros in 2016. Okay. But maybe it was the first, it was definitely the first meet that we were covering that you were, um, you know, Piros was there. Yeah. We this was a pretty big jump. You were, I guess you were taking jumps with the goal to get to the record. Yeah. You know, you're kind of trying to take an intermediate weight that would allow you to kind of take 92. Yeah. All right, so here's the youth record. Senior American record, too. Mm -hmm. Probably one of the better lifts there. I mean, that was a just spectacular lift. <laughs> and, of course, this was, like, the day after CJ had done, I think it was, like, 85. Uh -huh. You know, to, to do a, you know, this is kind of the same thing, like record and this. It was just like, it was one of these meets where I was watching this from, I was at Europeans in Croatia, mm. and I had an employee here, and I was kind of like seeing the daily updates. I was like, what in the world? <laughs> All right, so now we're at um, Pan Ams. So this was, I think, your first senior uh, in international. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it wasn't really international, but it is international because it was Pan Ams. Yeah. But we chose this over going to Tokyo going for a... Uh, I believe Junior Worlds. Yeah. Do you know why you did that? It was my first senior meet. You just wanted to senior. Yeah. It was the first time on that team with these guys. And, and this is now um, a, uh, I guess, I, this this was another, you know, I think Yason was a good amount ahead of pretty much everyone, but I think you and Angelo were battling hmm. for oh, kind I'm of sorry, like that silver. Was, yeah. But Yason was kind of like too old, too far ahead at this point. Yeah, yeah you did. great clean and jerk day from me here, if I recall. That's actually the, pretty much the only time you ever miss a um, missed an opener. Really? Jerk. Pretty much, I think. Yeah. If you look at the sheet, it's like name. It's clean and jerk. No, clean and jerk almost never misses. Well, all right. I'm a, I'm <laughs> I'm about to prove you wrong. Yeah. But I want to let this video play through first. So this was a pretty big one. Because basically because you, you didn't look great on, yeah. the, on the early 80. Yeah. And just to come back and make 86 was big. Even though, you know, you were coming off of having made 92. So it wasn't like, oh, some record. But it was like, all right, you know, he put together a solid meet. Sure. All right, so look at look at the 80. How often does he actually miss opening clean and jerks? Four times. Very rare, though. meets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, you know, pretty much in, in the last, you know, six, five, six years, he's missed one. So that was it. Right, knock on wood. Um... So, all right, so now we're going into 2017 Worlds. Obviously, this was your other world record. Mm -hmm. um, Where's, oh, this was Anaheim. That's yeah, right. Anaheim. Yeah. And this was the one where you took that shot at the 77 junior record. Correct, yeah. This one was, this meet was really kind of pivotal in my career. I, yeah. I've, I've mentioned it several times on the interviews and uh, media. This was at 59. Yeah. yeah it's close for us. This is kind of what started the uh, Olympic journey for me. This was when you realized, like, hey, I'm, like, this is a thing that could happen. Yeah, yeah. kind of. No, I was also fighting that, that real bad. Opener. Yeah, I was fighting that real bad quad cramp throughout oh, this whole yeah. competition as well. So your second attempt was your world record. I passed my and third. I passed I believe. your third. Yeah. yeah. Was that because you just realized, like, hey, I set a world record, I don't want to well, go there and, and hurt myself? Well, uh, that my quad was seized at this point. Yeah. So, I actually jerked on a seized quad. Yeah. <laughs> so, you can see I'm looking away. Yeah. Well, that was impressive. I didn't realize it was quite that bad. I knew you were cramping or whatever, but I didn't realize it was to the point where you were, um, 
you know, couldn't li literally physically couldn't take your third. Yeah. I thought you didn't take your third just because you figured like, hey, I'm, you know, I'm like out of the metal for. No, it's because my out leg locked. I couldn't straighten it. I couldn't bend it. Yeah. It just locked up on me. There you go. Um, all right. So next one. This is when you decide to go up to 85, which of course was short lived because yeah. the classes got changed six months later. Mm -hmm. But you basically had to decide I'm I'm going up. Was that partly to do with your leg? Uh, yeah, we were starting to have to cut a little bit too much. I was getting down to too low of a body fat percentage. Yeah. And it just was kind of the uh, long-term, kind of longevity-minded uh, move. I gotcha. All right, so 27, sorry, 2018 Junior Nationals. So this is, I believe, still your PR clean. We'll see at the end of it. This was the 205 clean. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> still is. Um, this was a great meet. And so this was, I remember I went to this meet, at least 50% of the reason I went to this meet was because you were competing. Mm -hmm. um, because I know CJ wasn't going, a lot of people weren't going and um, you know, it was basically like you and obviously there were good lifters there, Yeah. but it was, I mean, 56. I don't think I made that one. No, yeah. but you came pretty close. Yeah. Okay, 90. This was a big jump, by the way. You did 90, then 200. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had that in mind. We were going for it. Let's see Vernon in the background. Mm -hmm. All right, so this was the first time you did 200. And I, I believe at the time made you the lightest to ever do 200 in the U.S. by. I believe and the youngest, know. right? Lightest and youngest, yeah. yeah. And you were still 17 here. Correct. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. a crazy lift to do 200 and you're still 17. <laughs> you were weighing like 81 and change. Yeah. All right, so then the 205 clean. So PR clean right here. There's Actually, a better clean. It looks like a good clean. Yeah. Right? You're getting rock is bad. The jerk. jerk it's not far at the time. No, it, wasn't, it wasn't crazy. Uh, it wasn't crazy not there. No. Like, uh, I, I think at the time I was expecting, like, oh, you know, he'll fill out 85 and he'll make that soon. Mm -hmm. you know? um, all right, so then we're going forward to 2018 Pan Ams. So this was uh, a 99, which I guess is just below your PR. Pretty close, yeah. Um, this, so this was in Santo Domingo. Mm -hmm. oh, so I feel there like you are. Yeah, there I am. <laughs> I w obviously wasn't shooting this. Um, I was shooting a side camera. I should mention too that we, at most meets, we have between two and three videos. Hmm. Um, I just picked the kind of the normalist angle, you know, for these. And that was a 160 attempt. I forgot I tried that. Yeah. Damn. And you opened at 52, which is a pretty big snatch opener. For yeah. You. 52 and 95. Wow. Well, I think at the time you thought, well, if I did 200, why would I open it 90? Yeah. You know, it was probably part of it. So then we'd have to make that stupid jump. Yeah. Again. So there's, uh, there's 99. I don't remember, like, what metal considerations were going on here, but there's yeah. probably a reason for that. That's why. All right, so here's 204 mm -hmm. attempt. Yeah. Easy clean. Yeah. No damn. problem at all. I'm taking the phone video too. <laughs> yeah, Jerk always kind of lagged a little bit. Yeah. All right, so yeah. now we're going to uh, 2018 Junior Worlds in Tashkent. So here at this point, you're you're no longer battling with Yason. I think mm -hmm. he, I don't remember exactly why. He wasn't popped yet, but I'm not sure what's going on. But you were battling with Reefar. I thought he here. got caught at this meet in Tashkent. Was it at this meet? Yeah, I, don't I think thought he it was. He wasn't lifting here. No, I think he got caught like a day or two Just before. before. Yeah. I thought it was at, you know, I thought it was a day or two before Ashgabat that he got that caught. That might have been what yeah. it was. All right, so here's, but you were, you were competing with Reefars here. Yeah. Yeah. And this was, I guess, last meet at 85. This was when they, just before they changed the classes. Yeah, and I never really filled out 85. Yeah, you didn't. No. Well, I mean, when I was thinking, you know, in Spokane, when I was thinking, oh, you know, he's going to do that to a five or more soon, yeah. I was assuming, that was under the assumption that you're a full 85, which I think you would have done that. I only ever hit like 82, 82 and a half. Yeah. So it was actually kind of good for you they made 81. Yeah. I mean, it's a good class for you. Yeah. All right, so that's a little 98. I think that was some, some medal of some kind. I don't yeah. remember exactly, but <laughs> I mean, obviously you got a medal. 
Um, all right, so now 2018 World. So this is, I mean, I mean, it's pretty tough to not say this is your best meet ever. In Turkmenistan? Yeah. Yeah. You know, six for six, six wasn't for it? Six for six. Yeah. Um, that's your... 57,200. Your PR clean and jerk. And by the way, the reason I listed this as your PR was because technically this was, um, you know, not... You weren't you weren't under 81, I don't think. You might have no, been, but you were no. right around it. Yeah. But anyway, I listed this because it was, you know, this is, I guess, the best 200. I don't know how to describe it. Mm -hmm. But then, obviously, you did 57, too. Um, and so that was, you know, a bunch of American records. And this one, you'll see the way we shot this is like a very wide aspect ratio. Mm -hmm. It has to do, it's, I'm not going to get into the camera technical details <laughs> of why we did this, but trust me, it was something we had to do. This is actually much higher resolution than it looks on the screen yeah. because the screen's only so wide. Um, and you're wearing hooker knee sleeves here. So I think it might have been the first meet you were wearing them. Yeah. So I should point out this video is sponsored by Harrison these sleeves. <laughs> I'm going to put a link in the description for them. He's not. You're not wearing these yet. You're actually wearing the the prior version. But yeah. These are the the newer version. All right, so here, 91, 95. You know what was cool about this meet it was like this was the meet where I was like wow this kid is like really good because he's like you were hanging with like Lu Zhao Jun, mm -hmm. Ai Ha, Li Dayan like you're hanging with a bunch of people who have like professional state support and like very well funded very like you know everything you know yeah. like you know Ai Ha has a doping positive too so you're like and you know you can't really say for sure with the Chinese but you know either way you're, you're hanging against real professionals and you're like someone who I've always thought of as like kind of a kid, you know, training, like you know, in a in a gym without yeah. without all that, you know. Yeah, for sure. But, but this, I was like, this 200 was like right with them. We were trading blows at this point. Yeah. So they always edged me out, but. Well, they 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 had you in the snatch. Like yeah. in the snatch, I yeah. wasn't like, wow, he's hanging with them. But in the clean jerk, I was like, oh my, like he's he's just a world class clean jerk. Yeah. You know what I mean? There was no way to say you weren't at this point. So. Um, all right, so this is skipping forward quite a bit. Um, I think we're not going to go into it because, you know, I'm trying to keep the video positive sure. and everything. But I think you had a bit of an injury and stuff like that. So this is Fiji. Oh, yes. I was coming off a uh, back injury. Yeah. That's right. So here's the first one in the Harrison Eastleys. Yeah. Um, and here we go with the 50. Yeah. Yeah, I remember at this point, this, this was the meet that I feel like without the injury, it would have been, like, your time to... You know, win junior worlds. Yeah, like you, I don't even think I medal at this. One. Like, um, I can't remember. I think I, I remember Juan Solis and um, and Reet Vars. Juan Solis has now popped, I think, and Reet Vars, I think, were were like it was Juan and Reet Vars, I think, were kind of going for it. Mm -hmm. I don't remember if you medaled or not, but you weren't really in the running for uh, like the gold just because those guys were both in good shape. Yeah. But I mean, you were still doing good numbers you just you know you had set the bar so high in Ashgabat mm -hmm. that it was going to be tough to be like hey I'm going to do those Ashgabat numbers after being injured I mean yeah. you know what I mean it's like it's not not going to happen yeah but I see so 96 I think at that point you were just it was just maybe a little too much coming back yeah all right so um oh you know what I forgot to show um let me show the 200 front from 2018 world so this was actually shot by Baffa okay because um, he was commentating and he brought a camera, so <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen this video of the front. Angle. No, I don't believe sure. I have. That's pretty, pretty nice. Yeah. A little 2018 front angle. All right. Um, all right. So now we're going to Pan Am Games. So this is this is what's weird. The same guy shot these videos at mm. Pan Am Games and in Rome. Both of them, he missed your opening clean jerk. <laughs> I've I've no idea why. I'm not I'm not sure. It wasn't me. I didn't go. But uh, I, you probably haven't seen this video either, or these videos. Oh, the painting. Okay, yeah, painting painting games. games. That's so right. forty-five. Yeah. So it's good. I think it, he he has like your second, and third clean jerk, just yeah. not your first. I don't believe I was working with Spencer at this point. No, no. no. I mean. Yeah. It's, you yeah. Know, this was. This was right when I was going through that interim Coach change. in between, yeah. yeah. All right. So, 95. Yeah, so like I said, this is your second. Where yeah. you, you made 90 on your first. <laughs> well, it's 
attempt at 98. Mm -hmm. And I think you did get bronze at this. Yeah, I brought home a bronze. So this was your first games event. Correct. So this gives you a little bit of you know experience heading into Tokyo, what a games was like. It was a cool meet. I like Lima. I've been there yeah. a couple times. So Yeah, 2015. It's always a nice venue. All right, so 2019 Worlds. Um, wasn't Thailand? the best. Yeah, this is Thailand. Yeah. This wasn't the best snatch day, but I think this was where you see Spencer in the back. So you yeah. switch coaches. So I feel like any time you go through a coach change, there's always like this transition period. For where, sure. You know, you're both getting to know each other. He's starting to like learn what you know works well for you, and you're learning like what he's looking for and everything. Yeah. I feel like this was that meet where, you know, you guys just hadn't synced up yet. We've only done a handful of meets together even to yeah. this day. So, but. I feel like in Rome, I was seeing the signs of like it coming together. Yeah, you know for what sure. I mean. It didn't take us long to get on the same page. Yeah, I remember this one was in the B session, which just had like a different feel than you know in like Ashgabat, yeah. where it was in like the A session battling with the best, and this one was in the B session, and it just felt like it had like a lower yeah. kind of just like energy to well, it. Well, I very nearly meddled out of the B session. Here. Yeah, yeah, in the in the clean in the clean yeah. Yeah. Like, but I, what I was gonna say was that you, even though it was like lower energy and new coach, I mean, you're still hitting 98 yeah. at 81. This yeah. isn't like some bad meet, no, you know no, what I mean? No. But it wasn't like the optimal meet. But if you go into here, I mean, here is where you actually set your PR snatch. Yeah. And so this was only really, you know, less than a year into working with Spencer. Very beginning of COVID as well. <laughs> yeah, this was, all. this was, <laughs> you know, People didn't, you know, realize exactly what was going to happen at this no, point, I don't think. We had no idea. I mean, I kind of was following it a bit by this point, but I didn't realize it was going to, you know, end up quite where it was. All right, so here we go with the PR snap. Yeah. Pretty fast, oh, too. Fight. Spencer was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get a Spencer on that. Yeah, that's so right, good. So I feel like the, you know, this, remember, this was your second. You opened yeah, it. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, I feel like the, you know, the 95 looked pretty good. You know, yeah. it, 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 I, I've seen Squirrely. smoother. Yeah. I've seen smoother recoveries, but it didn't look like you were going to miss it. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll crack at 200. I feel like, like I said, you guys are still like getting on the same page, but you can see it kind of like, you know, increasing. Just the fact that you PR'd your snatch alone is a, yeah. a sign. All right, so now we're jumping forward to modern day. This is a few months ago. Yeah, that's right. And uh, and I feel like, you know, pretty much everyone I felt like was mostly, other than, you know, obviously Jordan and Maddie had great meets, but, yeah. you know, like you, CJ, Kate, a bunch of people I felt like were just kind of like getting back into like meat mode first meet back yeah after a whole year off pretty much yeah like you and kate both look very different from here even to nationals which yeah. was only you know like a, a month or two it was good to get back on a platform here because it had been so long yeah like here you guys i would say didn't look like you know ready to be in the olympics whereas yeah. in nationals you look like you're like okay you're getting ready to actually be in the olympics you know what yeah. i mean I believe it only um, went two for six here. Yeah, this this one wasn't a good wasn't yeah. a good day. Not ideal. And by the way, I should mention we skipped over the twenty twenty junior nationals because you really didn't do much there. Even though we covered yeah. it, I have videos of it, but you, you really just weren't trying. That was, you know, also just before that was just after Rome. Just after like literally I think two weeks. Yeah, just after Rome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this one you just didn't look like, you know, you were quite in that like competition shape. Stood there forever too. Yeah, Damn. It's, a, it's a long time. It was to stand a there. close one. <laughs> Considering how long you stand there, you you, you got it pretty close. But yeah. and then so this is your most recent meet. So this was uh, in Detroit a few weeks ago. Oh, and just so to mention, that's a tracker plate on yeah. the end of bar because so yeah, so I know it'll come up. Someone will yeah. ask. That's forty-five. So this is fifty. Nice and easy fifty. This was a really fun meet. I really had a good time here. Yeah. You know. Energy was good. Yeah. Just from was nice. Yeah. And that 55 looked pretty good, you know. I mean, just the fact that you're back to, you know, mid 50s. Mm -hmm. And like your, your clean and jerks just looked like a world different from Dominican from yeah. here. And Dominican, I was a little bit worried. I was like, oh, wait, you know, is he not, is he not back? But then when I saw you here, I was like, okay, 
you know, your clean speeds look the same here. Like this, this I feel like the jerk technique's better on these. Oh, way better. Yeah, it's like you were, it's, yeah, like I said, you, you look like you're, you know, getting ready to go to the Olympics here. Yeah. Now we jump to a one here. Yeah, you, you can't, can't see, see the light. Yeah. 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 You did that just because 200 was a record. And yeah, why not? Send it, why not? Yeah. Yeah, well, you got to take some heavy attempts. So. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, so that's the, that's the end of the video. So, um, you know, we've already gone on a while, so I'll just say, you know, Good luck in Tokyo. Thank you. And um, thanks for doing this. No, I appreciate and, uh, it. You know, we'll see you around.